Okay, any thoughts on how we can solve this one? So what this uh, citation is like, how, how uh, he got three? Just Well, so index is three. If three of their end papers have at least three citations, right? So, well, so here, three, six, five. Okay, got it. Yeah. So if we sorted this array, then uh, aren't we just looking for the number that is exceeding its index? So the three would be uh, on the to the second index. So that okay, means zero, one, three, five, six after sorting. Okay. okay. So we are saying three because the uh, at the third uh, at the, uh, the second index we are getting a th getting three. Uh, so we have three papers which have a citation. Okay, so if I change this three to four, then are you going to return four? It's the sum. So basically, let's make a sum array. These are these are uh, these are we are looking for the the site. Oh, it's sum relevant. Yeah, we'll make a sum of the indices, but not the sum of the of the cite numbers of the citations. We are making a sum of the indices. So below that, we could write one more array, restore that four to three, and say, okay, even if we work with this new array, below that, just write the indices. Like zero, one, two, three, four. Yes. Okay. And below that, make the indices to be cumulative. So zero, okay. one, three, and uh, five. Uh, yeah, six, uh, six, uh, three, six is correct. Six. And okay. Eight. Yeah. Now we are looking for everything which is below three, and that is the first. That is the three. So everything before the three is. Uh, uh, that's why it'll, in this case the answer will be four. Okay. Are we? Do we care about line eighteen? Or do we only care about like why? What does this accumulating the indices do? I'm not following why. Like why why uh, why you would want to do this? So three papers with at least three citations each. So at least three citations each is fulfilled by that. Yeah. Okay. Any other ideas about about this one? So I'm still kind of confused with the question, but uh, if uh, uh, if uh, what I'm uh, understanding is correct, then. The simple solution would be like O of n, where like we just need to check the index and uh, uh, the actual number itself. If it's if it's greater, uh, we need to like uh, if the index is the value is greater than the index, then we will will count one. Okay, so how does that work in this example? So you are saying like uh, the three citations are three, six, and five, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I'm just asking you what the question is. So for the for, for uh, the first citation, if, if you need to include the first citation, it should have value of greater than one. Let me ask. Okay, so why is h the h index here three? Why is it not four? What what do we need to change to make the h index four? Yeah, I mean, like we can have four four right. Then the h index will be four right. You need f at least four like. The H index, and I, you know, like, please, please try to understand this line, right? So the index is H. If H of the, the, the papers have at least H citations, right? So in order for your H index to be three, you need at least three, three papers with three citations, right? In order for your H index to be four, you need four papers with in, is four citations, at least four citations, right? So, a, I mean, a very, very naive approach, the, I think that the brute force approach would be, well, so I, I mean, in total, there are five papers, right? So the best you can do is in a, your, the maximum H index here is five, right? That is if all of your papers have at least five citations. So I can just count is how many, how many papers do you have that have a citation greater than or equal to five? Okay, it turns out you only have two, paper, two such papers. Okay, so H index has to be less than five. Now I say, okay, then is your H index equal to four? So I need to do another scan to see how many papers have a citation greater than or equal to four. Okay, again, you only have two. So your H index cannot be four, right? Now is your H index three, I count the number of papers that have at least three citations. It turns out you do have three papers that have a citation of at least three. So H index, your H index is equal to three. All right, all right. So yeah, if, if that's the case, then we can have another array for, for mm -hmm. counting like, uh, uh, the the uh, citations like uh, with uh, five citation four three two one, uh, and we can increase the uh, value like with, with zero we can start uh, with C three, and if it's 
uh, when it's three, then we can increase the uh, value. Okay. Uh, are you talking about like counting sort type of thing? Or? I, no, yeah, yeah, just the, the, the counting it. Uh, okay. 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 So you're saying, okay. So initially like there are five zeros. Yeah. Okay, good. Then you see a three, so you basically um, yeah. change this to one. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you see a zero. Okay, so that doesn't matter. And then you, so you see a six. So then what do we do to the six? You only have five zeros here. We can really consider that as like uh, the, the last one. Just uh, uh, Okay, so you just like, like you treat a six as a five. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then you see a one, then you increment one, then you see a five, you increment one, five. So, okay, now what do we do? Okay, so now uh, we can just uh, go from uh, backwards and mm -hmm. see like how many total values. When we can like uh, hit the total count should be mm -hmm. like greater than any of these values. Mm -hmm. Okay, go so from good, good. Okay, so you, yeah, so you go backwards, right? So initially you're at five, like the, the Basically, you're saying, oh, is it the h index equal to five? Well, now, in order for the h index to be equal to five, this value that I'm highlighting needs to be five, needs to be at least five, but this is not at least equal to five, okay? So the h, h index has to be smaller than five, okay? Now I'm here, I say, okay, so now is your h index equal to four? Now, in order for the h index to be equal to four, I need the sum of zero and two, so I can accumulate, right? So I can do, do basically, this will be, the like the total citations right so when i'm when i'm here i'm saying in order for the h index to be equal to two uh to four this value that i'm highlighting used to be at least four but it's only two so the h index um is smaller than four right now i'm here so is the h index equal to three now in order for that to happen the value i'm highlighting needs to be at least three right yeah. and and it, it is three so h index is equal to three okay yeah this is okay so this is good this is good so I mean, another way of looking at this, I mean, I think it's equivalent, but another way of looking at this is what if we sort this from high to low? Okay, we sort the original array from high to low, so we will get six, five, three, one, zero, right? So now what I'm doing is here, okay, so what I'm doing is basically, you know, initially I look at six, right? So I say, is six, is six smaller than one? Right, so in, in order for the, um, the, the, right, so basically, you know, when I'm at six, I'm, what, what I'm hoping to say is, okay, I want, so what is one here? One is sort of the index, right? One is how many values are greater than or equal to the current, uh, how many values are greater than or equal to my current value? Well, and currently I only have one value that's greater than or equal to my current value, right? So the, so that's not right, right? Now, then I'm at this five. So I'm saying, okay, I know that there are currently two values that are at least five, right? Two values that are at least five. Okay, so the, so so can can the h index be five? No. In order for the h index to be five, um, I need five values that are uh, that are at least five, right? Currently, I only have two values that are at least five, so h index can definitely not be five. Now I'm here. Okay, so when I when you're here, what you're saying is that okay, can the h index be three? Now, in order for H and X to be three, I need at least three values that are that that is and that are at least three, right? But the index of three here, but the fact that I have a three and this three is an index two means that there are at least three values that are at least three here in in, in this array, right? So the H index can be three. Does that make sense? I mean, that's equivalent to this line sixteen, but um, you know, line sixteen is better because because this is more like a counting sort. All right, so uh, we've, I, I assume that everyone's familiar with all, you know, all of those sorting algorithms, right? So this is counting sort, so you, you know, you are able to solve this in linear time, right? Whereas, um, whereas, line eighteen, your your sorting is n log n time, right? So the counting sort solution is slightly better. Um, one caveat though is, you know, the input array may contain things that are very large, right? So you know, you may have one paper that who had that that has a citation of six million, right? So how are we going to store that in our when we are doing counting sort and our decision is just to store it at the last value because if you think about it it doesn't really matter if you have a paper that's six million or just 60. like you know the maximum h index you can have is equal to the length of the the list right if you only have five papers 
I don't care if you have a paper that has one million citation, right? Your H index is as is at most five. Right? Even if you have five papers, all of which have citations of one million, your H index is just five because you only have five papers, right? So when you're doing so, the usually that we say the issue with counting sort is the memory usage, right? Okay, counting sort is only suitable if the items you're sorting is in a tight range, right? So if you're sorting human ages, that's okay. If you're sorting by like, you know, if you know that your array contains integers from like a hundred to a thousand, then sure you can do counting sort, right? But, you know, if your numbers can potentially, if the range can potentially be very big, then counting sort is not suitable. Now here, counting sort is suitable because we can bound, like the, the individual values can be big, right? But we are able to bound it to n, where n is the length of the citations. Okay, uh, who wants to implement this one for us? Danish, do you want to implement this one? Uh, yeah, we increase the count uh, each time when we get the value. And we have this one uh, special condition. To the value itself. Yeah. Okay, now we have this oh, array, and we just need to uh, uh, check uh, from backwards and see uh, the total citation if the total citation is. So, mm -hmm. Okay, so when you when you see a three, you are going to put it at index two, right? You're not going to put it actually at the index yeah. three. I mean, unless you create n plus one, uh, an array of math n plus one. All right. Okay, so when you do, you know, when you when you have line nine. What if C is equal to zero? Right. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's just better to uh, create one. Okay, so now on line six, you're saying if it's greater than length minus one. So in this example, if it's greater than four, you would uh, you would uh, put it at five. Okay, okay. Otherwise, you okay? Um, sure. So 
let's look at the for yeah the second for loop okay so we do start with the last index right well then you would yeah out of bound i mean when you have five items the biggest index is four so this is fine okay so on line 13 you're saying total is equal to this guy plus total count what is total count so uh, just uh accumulating uh, everything from right are you updating total count oh yeah Okay, now if total count is equal to I, mm -hmm. does it have to be equal to I? It can be equal or it can, can it be greater than I? Greater than, yeah. Yeah, um, okay. yeah it, it can be greater than. Okay. I mean, that's because in your uh, yeah, zero gets counted, right? Zero gets counted. So, I mean, one way is on line 12, maybe you can just, uh, uh, I greater than or equal to one. You don't care about zero. Okay, and uh, also on line 15. So when this condition is true, what are we returning? Are we returning the total count or are we returning I? Returning, we should be returning uh, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. 